My name is Steven. Today, I'm going to teach you how to join data from Excel files to an Agile sheet file. To do that, the first thing you have to do is open an Agile expert, you can see. Then we'll add our data. For today's project, our well, data is going to be Nigerian state sheet file, showing the state Nigerian state. So here, I'm adding mine. As you can see, mine has been added. So the next step is to label the features. To do that, you just go to your taskbar and select labeling. They can click on label. It's a label all the boundaries. You can notice something here. Each boundary has Nigeria in the center or is labeled Nigeria. So you have to change that from Nigeria to the Nigerian states, which are all the 36 states you have. To know which colon has the Nigerian states, you just go to a table of contents. Let's click on an Nigerian state shift file and select the attribute table. This will display everything that is contained in an Nigerian state shift file. As you can see, we have the shape, the GID, the name, that's Nigeria, that's what we have currently. We have the name one, that's the states. So we can look, you notice that state, the name one contains the states. So just change that in our labeling field. To do that, we just go back to our labeling, go to field, and select name one. Once you do that, all the states will change to the Nigerian states. So the next step is you have to open our Excel and locate our data that we're working with and make sure it corresponds with what we have on our sheet file in the attribute table. As you can see, for the population data or population statistics we have for 2006 and 2007, we have each data for all the 36 states. So now that we are sure we have that, we just add that to our ArcGIS file or ArcGIS content. To do that, you just go back to your map and you add the data. And this is my data, the population. So once it opens, or once it has been added, it will display itself here. So to check whether it still corresponds, you can just right click and click on select open. And you see all the data here, the states and population. So now that has been done, the next step is you have to join the states or the name for each state on your ArcGIS file. To, re to re reconcile with that on your Excel sheet file or your Excel data. So to go do that, to go to our contents, let's click on the ArcGIS sheet file and select join and relate and select join. Now a pop-up is show and tell you to add your join. We are going to add the data, meaning we are selecting the name that's name zero or sorry, name one for the ArcGIS sheet file and the name or the state for Excel sheet file. So now that has popped out, we can input all our data. So for the input table, we are going to select the Nigerian state sheet file. For the input join field, it means what we are joining. We are joining the name to the table of the population data, which is the table they want to join, which is the population data, and the field they want to join from the table, that's the state. So what this means is we are joining the state to the name for the population data. So we are joining all states to each other. So the next step is we're going to validate the join. As you can see at the bottom, we don't have any errors while validating. The one-to-one -one join has matched the seven records. The input table has the seven records and the join table has the eight records. So you can go ahead and select OK. Now that has been done, we just go back and check our Nigerian state shift file the attribute table and you see that at the end at the last part it has been joined so you can see the state for the population data we added the excel corresponds with that of the name one abia abia adama to the bottom and the population data is already there so you note that if you close the map like this the data will be lost but there's something you can do to export data out which is called conversion you just go to your analysis and open your app toolbox. In your toolboxes, you go to conversion tools, Excel, Excel to table, or table to Excel. Since you already have the table in our we you're exporting it out on, as an Excel file. So you click table to Excel. So we'll increase the table, which is the population, the um, Nigerian state shape file, which is this. And the output, you just change, select the name you want, this, and choose the one to be saved. Is this here. So 
So we just save it as pop join. As Excel, as save. Then you can run that. And that is done. So we can navigate to our explorer or our folder and check whether it was correct or whether it has been done. As you can see, it is displayed here. So just open it. So this is it, all the data from the Niger Petifa. If you go to the end, as you can see, population, the, you can expand this, the states, the population for 2006, and also the population for 2016. So that's how you can join data from Excel sheet files and Azure sheet files. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe.